Welcome everyone to this fly-by numbers guide on the TCAS system. In this video, we'll be looking at tips, tricks, and ICAO compliance specifically designed for the aspiring airline pilot. To start, let's define what TCAS is. The Traffic Collision Avoidance System is an onboard system that significantly enhances our situational awareness. It's a critical component in our safety toolkit and compliance with our KO regulations is mandatory for commercial aircraft. It is important to understand how TCAS operates. It uses transponders to detect nearby aircraft and assess the collision risks. When a potential collision is detected, TCAS provides two types of advisories, a traffic advisory, or TA, and a resolution advisory, RA. These advisories are accompanied by visual and audible alerts guiding us on the necessary actions to avoid collisions. Compliance with ICAO is non-negotiable. Every commercial aircraft must be equipped with TCAS and pilots are required to undergo thorough training to respond effectively to TCAS advisories. Let's look at some practical tips for using TCAS. Firstly, always stay vigilant and maintain situational awareness even with TCAS assistance. Avoid abrupt maneuvers. Instead, make smooth adjustments, keep ATC informed, and ensure both pilots are aware and agree on the actions to be taken during TCAS events. Let's jump into the Embraer 145 Full Flight Simulator for a demonstration. So here we are, Ron and myself, in the Embraer 145 Level D Full Flight Simulator to demonstrate an RA maneuver. Now the 145 has TCAS 2 7.1, so you'll notice a RA that says descend, descend, followed by level off, level off. The difference between 7.1 and the earlier version was the fact that they omitted the adjust vertical speed, adjust oral. That was possibly a bit confusing. So let's have a look and go through the maneuver in the Embraer 145 simulator. Traffic, traffic. Right, traffic, traffic. That was the TA. You'll notice that the pilot monitoring now turns all the external lights on and the seatbelt signs will go on as well in preparation for the possible RA. Lights on, seatbelts on. Descend. Descend. Autopilot. 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 Okay. Descend, descend, RA. All I'm trying to do now, obviously I disengage the autopilot and lower the nose gently so that the RVSI needle goes nicely into the green arc. I'm not over controlling the aircraft. Very small maneuvers, of course, at this speed, at this altitude. Very little attitude change required to actually get the aircraft to descend. Down approach, some trainer 001, TCAS RA. Level up. That's another important call there made by the pilot monitoring. We need to let ATC know that we are dealing with an RA situation. Level off. There's the level off, level off RA as well. And I raise the nose of the aircraft gently back to zero foot rate of climb into the green arc. Clear of conflict. After the clear of conflict call, the pilot monitoring will now make an ATC call. Cape Town approach, some trainer 001, clear of conflict, resuming flight level 150. And what's important there is letting ATC know that we are clear of conflict and we are going back to our assigned flight levels. Let's go through these TA and RA maneuvers again, but this time looking at the aircraft instrumentation. Traffic, traffic. Okay, there's the traffic, traffic TA. You can see an intruder 100 feet below our altitude. Climb. 
climb autopilot. There's the climb, climb autopilot. RA. I disengage the autopilot, raise the nose into the green arc nice and gently and just trying level to maintain off. that level green off. arc. There's the level off, level off RA, lowering the nose again back into the green arc very, very gently. Clear of conflict. And of course, then the clear of conflict call. So as you can see, the important thing from a flying perspective there are slow, gentle maneuvers. Of course, you don't want to waste time. You do need to get the RVSI needle into that green arc, but making big evasive maneuvers, you could potentially induce another RA from another aircraft above or below you. So you need to be very, very careful and be very accurate. So I hope that little demonstration gives you an idea as to what a TKAS RA event looks like. Remember, keep it nice and smooth. Don't make big changes and no panic. The pilot monitoring is looking outside, looking for the potential conflicting aircraft, and the pilot flying is flying the aircraft. That's the most important thing. There you've got separation of duties, pilot monitoring, looking out, pilot flying, flying the aircraft as accurately as possible. In summary, TCAS is a crucial system for avoiding mid-air collisions. Staying compliant, vigilant, and well-practiced is essential. Confidence and preparedness are your best allies in mastering the system. As always, while I have made every effort to ensure the accuracy of this video, it is intended for study support and should not be treated as a primary source of aviation knowledge. Information within the aviation industry changes rapidly. Always adhere to the following. Consult official up-to-date regulations, procedures, and manuals provided by governing bodies. Prioritize the guidance and instruction of qualified flight instructors and exercise caution, good judgment, and seek clarification if any information seems unclear or contradictory. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you click the like button. And if you want to see more Fly by Numbers videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more aviation motivation.